Robert, great start in Le Ball. Uh, yes, absolutely magnificent. I was thrilled with the lads. They, 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 great team. They, they never gave up. They fought hard and we won. Same team here? The same team, yeah. We've got uh, uh, Shane Sweetman with Amaretto Darko, who was very, very good in the ball. We've got Billy Toomey, but he brings Tinka Serenade, not Romanoff. Uh, Tinka Serenade was fantastic at the championships. She's a brilliant mare, and she's going to raise the bar for the rest. Uh, Keen O'Connor is here with Splendor, not Larkel Cruiser, who, whom he has now sold since the ball. And then we've got uh, Cameron Hanley with Southwind, uh, who gave us a great clear in the in in ball. And um, then Shane, Shane Carey comes with Lancero. And it's my intention, not at this point in time, not to use Keen O'Connor this week, and we'll use Shane Carey instead. And that will be his first competition at this level with that horse. We just had the first class of the sort of the weekend. Does it give you an opportunity to look at the horses before you select? Absolutely. Our horses have different needs and um, uh, we've jumped uh, a few of our cup horses already this morning in the small class just to give them a feel of the ground and a, and a feel of the atmosphere and the ring and um, I, I, I'm pleased. Yes. And uh, there are two more competitions today and the next competition Tinker Serenade jumps. So it'll be all significant to my way of thinking and my planning but um, I don't foresee any problems. And last uh, in Le Ball, like the first leg was on uh, grass, we were on sand. Any difference for you? For some horses, yes. If there is a history of, uh, of a poor performance on one particular surface, then you would have to say perhaps that they don't, they don't uh, perform well on, 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 on sand or grass. But um, we have uh, the horses here, we have no particular problems in, in relation to that, I don't believe. So it shouldn't be an issue. Now, Billy Toomey and Tinker Serenade had a great indoor series. Um, do you think they can put that performance out on the outdoor circuit? Well, there's no reason why they can't. Uh, they, they had a fantastic winter, um, fantastic championships. Uh, Billy is a class rider. He's, 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 the mare is a class uh, animal, and um, the, two, the two of them are they're a great combination. So I'd be very hopeful that they can. Yes. Well, that win in Le Ball was taking a little bit of pressure off you, I suppose. So uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. It, 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 it has taken a lot of some pressure off, but you know we have a plan, and the plan plan is to qualify for the Olympics in Madrid in September. That is our main goal. Um, uh, Super League is the, is the closest possible level to that and, and so we, we, it's ideal for me to, to test the riders and the horses in the team atmosphere at a very, very high level. But however, as I say, our goal is Olympic qualification in Madrid and what we are doing, um, despite winning or losing at Super League level, doesn't change my ambition in relation to qualification for the Olympics. Another note, we were talking to Keanu Connor this morning, he said that he sold that horse that jumped that clear in, in Le Ball. Irish horse. Does that look good for Irish breeding? Uh, indeed, I, I mean that, that's a fabulous horse, you know. And um, uh, Le Ball was his first uh, competition at that level, and he certainly rose to it. Typically Irish, great heart, great brain, um, uh, but a great rider too. And um, I must say, I'm sorry to see him go. From my point of view, we need horses like that. But business is business, and um, and, and that, that's life. And he's moved on, and hopefully he'll do very well for his new owners. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.